Hey guys, I'm back in an unexpected location um, in Austria, in Sweden, and a very, very cool scene. This is here behind me somewhere. This is the James Bond cinematic sign, which is called The Elements and the Spectre movie was filmed here. And you know, because the James Bond movie is coming up soon, I was really getting into the mood and I wanted to come here and visit the museum and so on. Because we are now more than 3,000 meter high. I can hardly breathe, but I can still talk. Here is now a challenge. And I hope that this place here is going to be the highest point where a hot wheel track ever been built. So the thing is, I was thinking to have the Hot Wheels car uh, from James Bond. So I have here a Land Rover and an Aston Martin and I thought why not? I can build here the track and race this car just for fun. So I hope you will like my special uh, challenge and uh, let's do this together. So here is the DB10 from the Spectre movie. Um, this is the most... Oh, they were the racing by itself. So this is the most famous James Bond car, this DB5, the well-known from 1963. And, and here is this Land Rover, which is also standing here, which was um, also in a Spectre movie. And I have two different um, color from this, you see? So I also opened this. Oops, okay. And um, I also have this one here. It was also in the Spectre. And the bad guys were uh, following James Bond with this. So we see who is gonna win this time. Or it's really time to die. And I know the color of the car is black. Um, in the movie, of course, it's silver. James Bond have always this beautiful silver Aston Martin. But I just also wanted to show a contrast between. So I think it's gonna look really cool. I'm gonna race these two cars, the DB10 from James Bond and Land Rover from the bad guys. So let's see what's going on here then. Ready, steady, go! Woo! James Bond! <laughs> I think we lost the Land Rover. The bad guys died. <laughs> All of them. I think I officially lost the black Land Rover. It's really flew <laughs> somewhere into the valley. Um, so the bad guys are gone. Uh, the DB10 was super fast. And now I'm gonna check this out now, this Land Rover. I'm gonna see if it's faster now. Also the car from the bad guys from the Spectre. So let's see. So. Okay, again the bad guys are slower. And now I'm going to race the old James Bond car, the DB5 from uh, 63 and the new one from the latest movie. And we see it's the old James Bond or the new James Bond is better. So here it goes, the DB5, DB10, okay, equal chances. And now it goes. They both gone, but they were almost the same speed. So, DB5 against DB10, ready, steady, and go. So now, um, gonna race it again. The Land Rover, which is there on the rocks from the Spectre movie, from the bad guys again, and the good old DB10 again, and we we'll see if it's still fast. I assume because it's pretty light. So, let's see. Ready, steady, go. Yes! James Bond is still the fastest. So, challenge completed. 
which means the old DB5 is faster than the DB10. So, the original James Bond is faster than the new one. And I also somehow like it better, the, the old movies as well, than the new ones. I don't know how about you guys, but um, the car was faster on the track. I think there was the highest uh, point where a track ever been built. I don't know, for me definitely was the craziest location where I ever built a track and it was totally fun. I uh, also checked out the museum, this uh, cinematic sign here and I also made a video out of it. If you haven't seen it, just uh, check it out. I put a link below. And if you like the video, please uh, give it a thumbs up and follow me on Instagram and don't forget to subscribe and I'm going to come back very soon. Ciao!